Sora has hops like a three-year-old. Apparently a very athletic three-year-old, but still. Oh, the lights are on. You still, you'll see the shadows soon. They'll arise in this room, but somewhere else. The shadows might go after that doorknob, too. Okay, also that was missing in the fucking video that I did that got that you'll never see because it doesn't exist was me fighting oh boy what's it called like the trick master the tricky I'm just gonna call him the jester was fighting that guy and getting my ass kicked twice and then successfully beating him now, at least then, I had potions to go off of, but I highly doubt... Oh, no, I still got two elixirs. Look at me. Oh, speaking of look at me. No, oh, that. Uh, okay, let me finish the goddamn thought. Okay, so. The thing was, is that they had a swimming pool at their school. And so, apparently, the boogeyman took out all the fucking water. And then... With the chlorinated water, putting clean water, I'm assuming. I'll read that fucking after I finish. And. Oh, you'll have a better view from higher up. And filled it with jello. It hardened. And I want to say that, in theory, it should do the damn same in real life. Where it could be like, if you're not putting too much weight on it, you could stand on it. The shadow should be here soon. Are you prepared for the worst? If not, too bad. So yeah, I feel like in theory that could work. And if it does, then that's fucking fantastic. Because I'd love to do that shit. Like, do that and then throw a fucking party on it. With all my closest friends, or friend, and family. Actually, my family would think I'd be fucking retarded. Because here I am. Throwing a party on a pe on a giant pool of jello, and you know people are nasty, like really fucking nasty. So some people's feet may not be the cleanest, and say people like you know could you imagine like if I got like some serious like artist to like dig out a piece of that um uh, like a chunk say it's like Olympic sized swimming pool. And I get like half of it like dedicated to be like a like a sitting area where you're just sitting on jello and you can eat most likely the jello and whatnot. Now granted all this stuff has a time limit. And most likely that uh that time limit is centered around A the jello becoming like too damn soft that you can't stand on it anymore. But if you keep the room cold, then that means everyone has to wear, like, jackets and shit. Really fucking stupid, but always wanted to try it. But, A, I would need a pool large enough. A, I would need a pool large enough. B, I need, like, I think I asked, like, a website how much, how many jello packets it would take, and I think it was, like, 1.2 million, somewhere in that ballpark. So, and let's just say it's like, give or take two bucks for, give or take two bucks for a packet of Jello. Give or take, hell, it may be even three dollars. So that means I am looking at, if my math is decent, two point four million dollars just for some damn Jello to potentially fill something up. Yeah, you're not gonna hit me, clown. There you are. Oh. Oh, Donald. You sorry piece of shit. Get on the chair, you dummy. Yeah, so here's me ranting about Jello of all damn things. You know, it's been a while since I've had good jello. Speaking of good jello, like, I know that. Okay, I'm a 90s kid. Let's go ahead and say that right now.
from the 90s, born in the 90s, grew up with 90s TV. That's why I have a special fondness for 90s cartoons and shit. So, the point I'm trying to get across is shit was so much simpler and so much better in the 90s, food wise, I mean. Because when you had Jello, we had the big fucking cups of Jello, not that tiny shit they give you today. Here we get that. Not the tiny shit you get today. Or, say, the same with Nestle Quick or Nesquik. The chocolate powder you make to milk, you make milk with, like and Capri Suns, because they took out like if you were to somehow magically get a packet of Capri Sun from today. Well, not it's not magical to get a Capri Sun of today, but if you magically get a Capri Sun from back in the 90s with a Capri Sun from today and taste them, they are really fucking different. Because the ones from back in the day were sweeter and tasted better. The ones from today are all watered down and shit. Because apparently, thanks Obama's wife, we gotta be healthier. If people wanna be fat, let people be fat, damn! Don't force your agenda on me. I got really mad. Attain Ifrit's Moon. What a racket. Well, wake up, bitch. How's a doorknob to get any sleep? Again, back to my point. You're a doorknob. Why are you trying to be well-rested for? Sitting on a door all day? Waiting for somebody to insert something phallically shaped into your mouth? What was that? You hear that? It sounded like something closed. This gummy ain't like the others, no sir. Okay, I'll hold on to it. Donald Dick, ladies and gentlemen. Splendid, you're quite the hero. If you're looking for Alice, she's not here. She's gone, off with the shadows into darkness. No. Let's go back to our gummy ship. We might find her in another world. We've got to go to a save point to return to our ship. Indeed we do, Goofy. Indeed we do. So I want to say I cleared this world quicker? Oh boy. All the things to Sora. I want to say I cleared this world quicker than I did... There we go. Than I did when I first played it. So, let's go to the next world. I'm still recording. Hopefully I have audio this time, but I don't feel like checking. Because audio's never failed me. It's always been captured. It's failed me. And I'm afraid if I hit something, then it's going to fuck up. And you know what would be really shitty would be doing post-commentary? And I always hated post-commentary whenever I saw it. So I know some people may not be fans of post-commentary either. But sometimes, you know, post-commentary has to happen for what I now see. Because if you're post-commentating, because sometimes the audio fucks up when you have the visual. Or the video. So sometimes you have to do what you can, and take what you can. So you can't really just let a whole recording session go to waste when all you have to do is just rewatch it and then talk over it and then just hopefully sync up sync it up somehow in some way. I feel like I lost my train of thought. Mm. Just sitting here doing a whole lot of nothing. I feel like I was trying to make a point in something, but I completely forgot. I got the whole gummy ship, not gummy ship, I got the whole sometimes bad shit happens in recordings, as I am well aware now. So you have to re-record everything. 
Now, granted, when you see, it's a weird one-way street where if you have video, you can do post commentary, and it'll be like that, and that'll be good. But if you did it the other way around, and you had, but if you did it the other way around, you had post con uh, video sound, but no video, then that's weird. Hey Donald, maybe King Mickey's down there. And a backwater place like that? No thanks. People live there, Donald. Ah, I make fun of Detroit, so I can't really talk. Let's move on. Hold on, Riku and Kyrie might be down there. Let's just check it out. Forget it, we're on an important mission. What a dick. Just land. No. Come on. Actually, Sora's probably like, come on. Ah, Philly. We're landing. Don't touch that. No. See, my thing is, Goofy and Donald are ordered to stick with me no matter what. Because we see later in the game that they will go wherever that key goes. They go wherever that key goes. So, if I say we land on this planet and I want to land on this planet, then we're landing on this fucking planet. And again, like I said the first time I played through this, he should be fucking dead. Like, dead dead. Oh, that's not getting picked up. Donald? And he fell on his head, so now he should be like, ultra dead. I know Sora has to, uh, has to protect his life and all. I get that. I understand that. I know he's got to protect himself. But keep in mind, this is not a heartless. This is just a leopard. Just an animal. So the fact that Sora is beating the shit out of a leopard is kind of fucked up. Where are you on this one, Peta? You wanted to get on Pokemon, but you didn't want to get on Sora for beating on a leopard? Oh. Hey, look, it's Tarzan saving the day. Sabor. Thank no you. shit. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Where? Uh, what is this place? Well, it's like a treehouse, or this, this place. Okay. Where did the others go? Look, I got separated Duh. from my friends. Have you seen Duh. them? Duh. Hmm? Huh? Friends. Friends. Right, my friends. There's two of them. The loud one is Don. Yeah, don't give a shit about Donald. You know what? Or Scooby. Never mind. I'm looking for my friends, Riku and Kyrie. Look for Riku, friends. Right. Kyrie, friends. Uh, right. Um, okay. Friends, here. Really? That Haiti friends here? Huh? Don't be friends. speaking that kind of talk to me. Not sure I understand, but show me. Take me to Riku and Kairi. Tarzan. Tarzan, go. Okay. And I'm Sora. Tarzan, go. Sora, go, go. So where are we go, go, going? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Deep Jungle, Tarzan Land. This is pretty much backtrack the fucking level. Look at this dick. 
Just shooting the shit. Sure hope Sora's okay. That stock Rosie O'Donnell sound. Looks like it shat out a gummy block. Look at that strong jawline. I think I said straw jawline. I don't know, man. Yeah, I guess. Only because I know there's a chest under here. So, hopefully I can blitz through this faster. Alright, let's see. Because I gotta remember where everything is and where to go. Okay, so. This part has still been recorded. So, can you imagine if I was doing these in 20 unit chunks? Actually, that... Nah. I don't know if that would actually save... I don't know if that would actually save on, like, save time in the editing process where I just have, like, a 20-minute audio and a 20-minute video, then stop them, then kick it up again, then just edit it together and whatnot. I don't know. I mean, I, might, I may have to give that a shot, but who fuck knows. Yeah, but that seems like a lot of starting and stopping. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'll just record in two hour chunks and then just let the fates let the fates decide what works and what doesn't. Hmm. So, does that mean that's not them? Because I know in the movie the movie movie that those were like kind of like an equivalent of a Pixar Easter egg where you see like the Toy Story ball in like say and the Incredibles, I guess, if that was even in there. I don't know. Like that kind of Easter egg. And I, so I know that's supposed to be off of, you know, Beauty and the Beast, because that's supposed to be Mrs. Potts and Chip. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess that's true. Because they got turned into what their names ironically were. Is that irony? I don't know, I have, like, people have the, the very hard task of determining what's irony and what isn't. Because I want to say that if your name's Lumiere and you get turned into a candlestick, that's ironic. Not coincidence. I think I found all the slides. If I didn't, who gives a shit? You could at least knock first. Tarzan. Oh, and who's this? Uh, hi there. I'm. Oh. Are these her? I'm already. So long. The king's English. Thank you. Not related to Tarzan. Are you here to study the gorillas? Highly doubtful. Hey, Clayton. Oh, sweet double barrel shotgun. Goofy, Donald. We don't care about Donald Sora. Let's think about it, please. A circus of clowns. Not much use for hunting gorillas. Mr. Clayton, we're studying them, not hunting them. Sure we research. are. Well, the more the merrier. Do make yourselves at home. Yeah, I guess I'm not that bad, I guess. Well, anyway, I'm staying. Huh? Sora, look what we found. Look at this. <laughs> it's a gummy block. 